Welcome to the Explore Composites Materials Library. This is laminate sample number 26. This one is cedar strip planking with e-glass skins. And this is an interesting one because the cedar acts like a core, but also like a very thick, very low density lamina uh, in the middle ply. And because strip planking is just strips of wood covered in fiberglass, in most cases, it lets you build complicated shapes pretty easily and without a tool. This is a strip plank mold I built a year or two ago, but it illustrates the concept. You can lay the strips in, laminate one side, remove them from the mold and laminate the other, and you have a nice shape that has a structural core effectively. This is commonly used in building boats and can be used in a lot of other things. I started with half inch cedar strips. So this is northern white cedar and it's a very light wood, very rot resistant, not particularly strong or stiff for its weight but pretty good and I'm going to simulate the strip planked panel by gluing, edge gluing these strips. Of course it would be more interesting if it were curved but for this purpose I'm just trying to get an example that's one square foot a flat panel and so I'm just going to edge glue them with this urethane Gorilla Glue which is waterproof and it lasts really well it's light it's foaming it has a lot of really good things going for it in a situation like this. People building boats often use epoxy instead because it's even better and more of a proven thing but here I'm just applying a bead to one side and then smearing it in with what will become the next side of the next strip so I only have to apply the bead every other time. I'm going to put these all in here edge to edge and normally you could hold these to a set of molds with little nails or staples or clamps uh, plastic raptor staples are great for this um, here I'm just going to hold them down with a small cast iron surface plate which I had laying around. It's nice and flat. Vacuum bag would be better but this is what I got. And I'm going to do an awkward job clamping it. There's not a lot of clamping pressure. I'm not really going for that because you wouldn't have clamping pressure if you were just fastening them edge to edge in a mold or against a framework but they worked here. Again, not very pretty, but um, after a couple hours, this moisture cured glue kind of foams up. It's nice, fills gaps. Uh, it's pretty messy here, and the strips aren't perfectly aligned. So I'm going to come at it with some 60 grit on a sander and just level off all those strips. For a curved surface, you'd want to leave extra thickness uh, because as you round things off the effective thickness of the strips becomes um, less you know like staves in a barrel or something like that and um, grinding off all of that extra Gorilla Glue and it does leave a really nice surface I've probably lost about half a millimeter of thickness here if that and I'm um, gonna leave a rough 60 grit finish on it and starting on one side, I'm going to do one side and then the other. This is just standard laminating epoxy. And I'm going to make sure that the cedar is all wet out. It will absorb a fair amount of epoxy. And that's sort of hard to, hard to avoid. But compared to something like balsa or even bonding a foam core, it's pretty minimal. And cedar's as a core, um, it provides you know, strength in its own longitudinal direction and it has very good shear strength compared to other cores. And it bonds really nicely to skins like this. So this is 12 ounce biaxial glass. And I'm just putting this at plus or minus 45 to the strip orientation. Your, for a project like this, um, depending on what you're building, you could apply any different skin laminate to it to provide additional strength in the non-strip direction. 
this is pretty typical of a base non-reinforced area laminate for say a small boat maybe not not a very big boat but um gonna give it a look roll out as always lots of rolling i'm trying to be a good example uh, there really is nothing like a wet out roller and a squeegee and time to wet through fiberglass and I'm going to peel ply it just because it's a good thing to do makes it nice holds the resin in there if you're dealing with a situation where it could drain out and after that's cured flipped it over and we do the same thing to the other side I'm going to do it a lot faster because it's boring to see the same thing twice so here it is super speed wetting this out you can see that it takes the time to wet out the glass and um, you just gotta be patient and make sure that you got enough resin I'm being a little fussy trying to push it and see what kind of resin I can resin content I can handle here um, it probably be wiser not to be so aggressive if you're building something that you wanted to keep so here's the finished surface you can see a little bit of dry glass in there a few air bubbles changes in temperature cause air, air to come out of the wood moisture issues like that wood stuff and so here is the finished panel and a cross section cut through you can see the different strips and removing the peel ply here to show the finished surface the total thickness is 0.55 inches or so uh, one pound three and a half ounces and about 560 grams per square foot so having a look at this cedar acting like, like a core but also like a ply of reinforcement laminate just a really thick low density one I want to learn more so I got my wood handbook and looked up northern white cedar down at the bottom there we're probably looking at 12 percent moisture and these are just a few of the rough mechanical properties compared to e-glass and in shear compared to a high density grit foam um, when you correct for density cedar doesn't look so bad especially when you consider it's also behaving like a core and it's certainly not the lightest way to build things um, but if you're trying to build something that's tough has good acoustic properties or good sound dampening and brings its own mold with it it can be a good option thanks for checking it out you can find more at explorecomposites.com see you on the next one